Let me explain how media works. You create a polarizing headline that suggests something that actually isn't true in order to create a narrative to get people to buy into it. I want you to read some of the headlines that you're going to see about what Carl Anthony Towns had to say about Kyrie Irving's Instagram live session the other day. Check it out. Now that you've actually seen the headlines, I actually want you to hear the sound, see the video of what Carl Anthony Towns actually says. Check this out. You know, I'm 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 obviously a, a strong believer in the vaccine. I, I've been through so much that I it would be it would be kind of uh, contradicting to be not on the pro vaccine side. Um, but what I will say is that I'm a man of choice and I like to give people their choice and I have no problem with people having their choice. I think that is a it's a it's it's not only a human right that God has given us, but it's something that American, it's an American right as well. And uh, I'm never for someone to have their own choice. You know, they make their own decisions on their own bodies for their own families. I have no, no ill will towards that or anything. The only thing, like I said, at media day is just don't give me a excuse. Why? You know, you don't have to give me any excuse about your balls or testicles or something like that. I don't want to deal with that. that, that I don't want to hear about all that. Shit. So I, I'm, I'm here about, I'm here about this. You don't want to do it. That's your choice. Cool. Have you talked to Kyrie at all, or what do you think about how he's no, approaching? I haven't talked to anybody. You know exactly what I'm talking about. This is exactly my point. The media tries to pit athletes against each other with salacious headlines, when in reality, it couldn't be further from the truth. These articles would insinuate that Carl Anthony Towns is attacking Kyrie Irving on his stance about not being or being vaccinated, when that's not what actually happened. What the headlines should have said is that Carl Anthony Towns is pro-vaccine while also being pro-choice. But you know what? That's not the narrative they want you to believe. They want you to believe that Carl Anthony Towns, because of all the tragedies had in his family, and he's attacking every single person who's unvaccinated, when that's actually not the case at all. When he is referring to no BS excuses, these headlines would insinuate that he's actually referring to Kyrie Irving when in reality, if you listen to the sound, he's actually referring to Nicki Minaj. The last article that comes out and says, well, he takes apart Kyrie Irving's stance. He can't do that because Kyrie Irving never gave a stance. Once again, insinuating something that actually never happened. So here is my masterclass to everybody. When you're scrolling through IG, when you're reading your newspaper, when you're on your tablets, when you're on your iPad, when a headline, when bold print captivates you, when it gets your attention, please just don't react to the bold print. Please read the fine print beneath. Get context because these things, they try to twist it on you to make it think you, to make you think, I almost got twisted in my words, to make you think it's something is actually not. That's all I'm saying for today. Happy Sunday. Enjoy some football. I know I will.